Greetings, magnificent, beautiful spirit soul, divine being. I just want you to know you've never made a mistake because somehow you needed to do that, you wanted to do that. You don't need a bunch of lessons in that sense of, of oh, I'm doing this because I got the lesson and I'm working myself up and one day, no, 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 no. There's only one lesson. Who do you trust, yourself or the mind and other people's minds? There's most people, it's just their minds. Now, here's my topic. Waking up from spiritual amnesia. Waking up from spiritual amnesia. And that is a forgetting of who we are. And yet we tend to remember the past, remember the words were said that were unkind, remember when someone didn't respect us, remember when someone cheated on us, remember when someone stole or they lied about us, remember when they ruined the birthday. Remember, it's all remembering, remembering so I can feel bad, hate you, feel like I'm a loser, I'm no good, it's never going to happen, there's no hope. Because you're remembering programs, you're remembering machines, you're remembering... See, what's happened is there are these sentences and the spiritual amnesia means that you remember effects but you forget that you're the cause. That's what that's about. And where are you? You're here. You're right there, right now. And you go, well, how did I get here? Well, I don't know, but you're here now. And they, well, they go, well, I don't know. Why did this happen to me? Well, I don't know, but it happened. But it never happened to you. When well, you know the distinction between you and the mind, you and your beliefs, they're just beliefs. They're just statements. They're just, they're, they're hypnotic suggestions. They're um, commands that have been said to you. And, and if you notice, if you, if you watch whatever is the media when it comes to reporting or politics or it comes to what's going on or everything, remember, always do your research and find out who owns all of these. And they're ancient families. Um, they're very interesting how his business plan took over, whether it's railroads and waterways. And, you know, they would think they buy it all up because it's all then belongs to certain people, but it doesn't belong to you, you know, because it's theirs. They own it. Well, they actually really don't own it. And it's a thought that they own it and that they, they could do whatever they want with it. But Earth belongs to Earth's Earth. And there is the real Earth, and then you got the false Earth. They've got the real you, and they've got the false you, okay? And the false you is a caricature. It's a, a what do they call that? The animation. It's an animation. Because you're animated, and it, it's a movie. And it's a script. And there's a dialogue that goes on. Like, you know how some people, they don't know how to be in relationship. They, they have to say, they don't know what to do. Because they were taught a long time ago, you, you're, you're not okay, you're not right the way you are. And always trying to, well, how do I get along? What do I say? What do I do so I can fit in and be, be part of all this? And the key is, is to um, remember who you are. Well, you say, but I don't know. Well, there's, there's knowledge out there. There's knowledge. It's like I have the knowledge. Uh, others have not. The, the, the books I've written, What You Think of Me is None of My Business, Live Your Bliss, um, Dare to Be Great, Love and Power in a World Without Limits, A Woman's Guide to the Goddess Within. And that's very important that, that you remember who you are and you remember and be who you are in every single moment. And every single moment, wait before you respond. Wait until you react. Wait until you let somebody pull your strings. Wait until you uh, react to someone and all of a sudden you're going to fillet them or come back with or got an attitude of. And you find that hate is prevalent because hate is who you fear. And we've been taught to fear each other. We've been taught to be afraid of animals, and we've been taught to be afraid of microscopic little bugs, and we've been taught to be afraid of everything and everybody all at once because you could die and you could lose it all. 
Nobody loves you if you're all alone, you die in the street. <laughs> Get over it. You don't die, you'll still be there. And you'll go, oh, yeah, right, huh? Now what? Oh, and then the little guy comes along and says, come over here to the light in the tunnel, which is your love being reflected back to you. You think it's coming from somebody else. And you run for it because you're so needy that you gotta, and you gotta get back in the game because you're gonna get that sucker. Because you know when you when you died and you left, your husband now has got his girlfriend living in your house. I'll get that woman. It was the last thing I do. So you're gonna find a womb with no view. And there you are, and you reincarnated, buddy, and you got it again, and you don't even know where these people are. But then you start it all over again. You got to learn how to tie your shoe. Oh no, we use Velcro. We don't have to do it. We use GPS. We don't even need a map. So the more and more that people are focused in to be controlled by AI, artificial intelligence, so that you don't control yourself. If you do not believe your mind and you do not let those mental moods and all of that control you, no one can control you. I don't care the machinery they have because they work on memory. It's a memory operation. So remember then who you are and never forget that remember your source and remember how you operate together and remember your divine abilities of manifestation remember your talents remember your abilities remember that you're an eternal being and when you do that you're out of time people say well you only have so much time there's no time there's only now you have time how do you know there's time because you have a watch and they tell you to watch it that's why it's called a watch and they have it up on the clock. It's a clock. It's time. You better get there because it's time now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? It's always now. And in every moment, you can make a fresh start. Right now. Okay? Remember who you are. And never forget.